most important dietary guidelines is easy to see on my plate. Make half your plate fruits and vegetables. You can also see that a meal should include grains, protein, and some dairy too. But where are the nutrients we keep mentioning? They're in our foods and beverages. The main nutrients are protein, carbohydrates, and fat. Vitamins, minerals, and water are nutrients too. Each nutrient does a different job. Working as a team, they enable your body to function, grow, and repair itself. The list of nutrients your body needs is a long one, and the amount you need of each one varies. But the important thing to know is that we need them all. Portion size is the amount of food you put on your plate to eat in one sitting. Visualize the food arranged onto my plate, or bring it home and actually put it on a plate. Sometimes there's enough for two plates. When that's the case, pack up the extra for a future meal. A good mantra to remember for eating out? Take half home. By the way, take a look at your plate, bowl, or glass. Is it enormous? Makes you want to fill it up, doesn't it? Huge dishware is a recent design trend. But try using a salad plate. Let's look at the quarter of your plate waiting for grains. And not all grains are equal. Just as you should check ingredients to ensure dairy is low fat, you should check your grains to make sure they're whole grains. In fact, each day at least half of your grains should be whole grains. Grains are made from the kernel of some plants you've heard of. Wheat, rice, oats, corn, and some maybe you haven't like barley, buckwheat, millet, amaranth, and quinoa. Decades ago, manufacturers began processing grains by stripping away the protein and nutrients. The process made products white, flaky, and fluffy, and made them last longer. At the time, no one thought food processing was a bad thing. It was technology, progress. They named it refining, as though it made a product better. And sometimes they even added a few nutrients back in and called it enriched. Now it should be really good for you, right? Actually, these grains are not as good for you as whole. 